Welcome to a tour of Notion Planners. This is version 2.0 of the template, and so I wanted to make an updated video to show you how to use it. And so if you're coming from version 1.0, the main difference here is that we now have our planners in a separate database. Um, but what we'll do is we'll start off with the pages database and I'll walk you through this first. And so here's where we can add in our pages to our daily, weekly, and monthly planners. And then we also have a tab for showing all our completed pages. So let's now go ahead and add in a daily page and we can do this by clicking on the plus new button. And so we can open up this entry and here we have our template. So we have all the details automatically filled out. Um, we also have the date, which is automatically entered. And we also have the checkbox for completion. Below this is our standard template. So we can schedule out our day here um, by hour and we can also add in goals for the day. And if we click the add new button, we can add in new goals. Um, same for the checklist, we can add in new to do's by clicking the add new button. We also have a section for taking notes throughout the day. And then below this, we have a space for reflection. Okay, so that was our daily planner. So let's uh, go ahead and close this and then we'll head over to the weekly tab. Um, and here we've actually got one already. So we'll open this up. And as you can see, uh, here's where we can schedule out our entire week. So we've got each day here. Um, and then once again, we can also set our goals for the week uh, and also events. And again, we can click the add new button to add to those. Below that is our notes. And then once again, we have a space for carrying out a weekly reflection. Okay, so that was our weekly planner. So let's now go ahead and check out the monthly planner. So here we have a calendar view of the entire month. And this just allows us to view all of our entries. And we can also add events directly into the calendar. And once again, we have a space for carrying out a monthly reflection. Okay, so that was our monthly page. So let's close that and let's head over to the completer tab. So once we're finished with a page, we can choose to complete it. And so to do this, you simply want to um, select the checkbox. And as you can see, that page has now left the daily tab and can be found under the completer tab. Now, when it comes to adding in new pages, uh, depending on what tab you're on, will determine what template is added. So under the weekly tab, that will add the weekly template. And then under the monthly tab, that will add the monthly one. And of course, this works the same for the daily tab also. So these pages can be organized into our planners here. So if we open up the daily planner here, we can find all our daily pages. So this just allows us to keep them organized. Um, and we can also access previous pages by checking it on the open button. So if you want to revisit them, uh, you can. Um, the same works for the weekly planner. So here we have our weekly pages. And again, we can revisit them by clicking on the open button. And lastly, we have our monthly planner where we can find all of our previous monthly pages. Um, okay, so that was our planners. And at the bottom of the template, we have our calendar. And so here is where we can view all of our pages added throughout the week. Um, and we can access them directly from the calendar. We can also check them off as completed, but we can also see those that are uncompleted. So the calendar is particularly useful because we can view our weekly pages in addition to our daily pages. So on Monday, we have a weekly page. And then on the first of the month, we have our monthly page. And then spread out throughout the week, we have our daily pages. We can change calendar views using the database tabs. So we can swap from a weekly to a monthly calendar view. And we can also link our pages to Notion Calendar if we click the button here. Okay, so that was a tour of Notion Planners. I hope this video helped. And this is a free template. So if you want to get a copy, you can download it by clicking on the link in the description below. But otherwise, thanks for watching.